All right, guys, well, I've been playing around here, playing chemist, and I've been using the McKees N914. The reason I'm, I'm using this, or I've been playing with it, with what I'm gonna tell you is, because this is a versatile product, it can go in and outside the car, so it's just kind of like one product does just about everything, glass, exterior, wheels, you can just clean everything with this. But it doesn't leave anything behind, really. It's not gonna leave like it's super glossy or super slick or anything like that. Any protection, none of that, all right? This is just gonna clean, but it cleans in and out and it cleans everything, so fantastic product. Now, what I've been playing with is the bead maker, and uh, bead maker is not my longest lasting product when I use it, but what it does offer is a fantastic experience when you use it, the smell, and the gloss is fantastic afterward, and the slickness is super noticeable on the car as it starts to cure, especially like the next day when you go to open your car and you just kind of touch around the uh, handle. Oh my God, it, it feels fantastic. So I really love Beadmaker for the slickness. So I've been playing around with some ratios here and what I've kind of come up with is, uh, and this is not set in stone, you can do this any way you want, all right? So I've got about a liter of water, and I, I just say a liter because I leave half the air, half a liter out, this is a one and a half liter. I leave a half a liter out so I can pump air through there. Liter of water, and I put about an ounce of the McKees N914 in there. And then I put somewhere around two and a half to three ounces of the bead maker. All right, and this is kind of where I'm at right now. So I've got uh, my little mix here. And I really like the way that this is cleaning and I like the slickness that it's leaving there. If you guys want to try this out, I'm going to clean the car a little bit here and I'll show you guys you know, uh, basically how, how it feels, how it looks to me. And uh, we'll just do a short little quick video. We're just messing around guys. We're just having some fun, trying some different mixtures and seeing how they work. This is what I'm working on right now. Stay tuned, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. These products can be found at autoforge.net. Let's go guys. All right guys, so we've got our uh, IK Multi Pro Sprayer 2. We've got our rag company towels. We've got our mixture, bead maker, McKees N914, and water. We're gonna spray our towel a little bit here. And this we're not gonna dry with, we're just cleaning, so I sprayed both sides. We're gonna work our way down. We're doing uh, about one door at a time, keeping an eye on it. It's not super dirty. I washed it about a week ago. And you'll never guess what's going on outside as I start to do this. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this towel around going here now we got our car pro dehydrate towel I've really started liking this towel for my waterless washes by the way that's what we're doing today the waterless wash waterless wash basically means we're washing a vehicle that's not super dirty put some water in your own mixture spray it on and uh, you don't need to rinse it off with water doesn't mean there's no water this means you're not rinsing with the water all right so that fast we did two doors now mind you we haven't even let this cure yet it's sick it's sick, slick, guys. It's cold, 
I'm in the garage, but outside it's probably 55 degrees or 60 degrees or something like that. So the, the paint's cold and it just feels like an ice cube. It's awesome. I love this mix. It's fantastic. So uh, I'm opening the garage here. And as I told you, as soon as I started washing the car, it's raining outside here. That's just awesome. But you know what? That doesn't stop me from washing the car. Actually, it, it makes me want to keep washing the car so that when you take this vehicle outside, if it's raining, it stays cleaner. I don't know, the, the water just kind of rinses off it and um, it's not really a problem for me. I don't really say, oh, it's raining, I'm not gonna wash the car. It's not really a problem, guys. And that slickness, you know when you put, when you put this solution on, it's fantastic, guys. Okay, so I don't know, how, how did I stumble on this one? Well, you know, I was thinking about, I, I could use the McKees SIO2 or the graphene, and those are already enhanced with the gloss and slickness. And I just kind of thought about, you know, the 914 is always something I'll have in my arsenal because it's more versatile because I don't always want something enhanced with graphene or, or SIO2. So I'll always have the regular 914. And if I wanted to pump it up, I could add something to it. Bead Maker works very good. Not Bead Maker, uh, Bead It Up from 3D. So I also wanted to try Bead Maker because Bead Maker, I love the slickness and gloss it leaves. It doesn't really last a long time, to be honest with you, but you can use this over and over and then it will kind of layer on itself. That's that's what's good about it. So that's how I ended up with this. Uh, been playing with different ratios and this is about the ratio I came up with. Guys, let me tell you, if your car already has protection, like this one has a coating on it, it's just going to be that much better. It's going to rejuvenate, bring everything back to life. Smoothness slides right off when it cleans, everything slides right off. Super simple. This one has some uh, like PPF on it, so it works over that real nice and easy. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, washing the rest of this over here on this side and get around the sides of it in the back. But you guys, you know, the whole whole thing about this combination over here with the uh, bead maker and the N914, it's inexpensive. It's a nice combo. It makes a lot. And uh, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck, your slickness and your gloss. Look, look at that. That's fantastic, guys. This is all PPF here. This is paint up here. It's kind of like a half-done one. Feels good. Feels good on both both areas. And uh, it's going to be pretty hard to beat that level of gloss and slickness. So, guys, try it out. Play with these. See how you like it. Let me know in the comments if, you've, if you try it and come back to this video. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget that you can get all of these products over at autoforge.net. They got the IK sprayers. This is a must have, guys. This is a must have right here. And uh, pumps out, nice spray. Get your bead maker. And of course, you can get your McKee's products over there at autoforge.net. So go ahead, check them out. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys.